Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another flat twist protective style that you can do. And the reason why I like this style so much is because you can dress it up with a few accessories or dress it down. And this is a style that I have been wearing for the past week or so. So first my hair has been washed and conditioned and I start off by prepping my hair for blow drying. My hair has been sectioned into four separate sections and then I apply the Nefertiti Secret All-in-One Leave-In Treatment to my hair and then proceed to use my blow dryer with the comb attachment and blow dry my hair straight. Now this part is optional um, for this style. I do recommend having stretched hair so you can do it on old hair or you can blow dry your hair if you'd like to. You can stretch your hair by putting it in twists or doing the banding method. It's really whatever you want to do. Also I just want to take note that you don't necessarily have to blow dry it as straight as I'm blow drying my hair right now. Um, I probably didn't have to go as far as I did. So once everything is all blow dried, I will then start to separate my hair for the style. I'm going to separate out a section on the side of my head from the temple of my forehead to behind my ear and use a little bit of Eco Styler flaxseed gel to lay my edges and then proceed to flat twist that section all the way down to the end using the T-Root Beauty Butter Curls Curling Cream. I think it's what it's called. And then also the T-Roots Beauty um, hair oil. And I'm gonna put all of the products in the description box that I have used in this video. So once I'm finished flat twisting the one side, I'm then gonna take it and put it into a boost, a boost, <laughs> a loose bantu knot on the side of my head, basically just to make sure the flat twist stays tight and doesn't become a loose. And then I will go to the other side of my head and do the same thing, create a part from the temple to behind my ear, flat twist it, and then bantu knot it so it stays out of the way. Now moving on to the rest of my hair, I will then create a part from one ear to the next to separate the top half and the back half. Once that's done, I'll clip the back half out of the way and then start to style the front half. Now for this part, I basically create three flat twists in the front going on a diagonal and using the same Tea Roots Beauty Butter Curls Cream as well as the hair oil to seal. So for these flat twists in the front and for the ones that I'll be doing in the back, I don't bantu knot these mainly because I want these to be mm, more fluffy looking and carefree. They don't have to be tight and as a matter of fact, the looser the better. So moving on to the back of my hair, I basically do the same thing in the back as I did in the front. I'll create three flat twists in the back Except this time, instead of parting my hair in a diagonal, I'll part it straight down. I'll then take those three flat twists in the back and put them into a low ponytail and then I'll take the loose twist and pin them into a bun around the ponytail holder. Now for those flat twists on the side, I'll unravel the band two knots and also wrap those around the bun as well. For the flat twists in the front, I'll also pin those loosely off to the side. So once everything is in place, you're pretty much done. I then decided after the style was over that I wanted to jazz it up a little bit, so I purchased a headband to go along with it. And if you could just imagine that this headband was white instead of navy blue, it would also make a great bridal style as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it, and thank you all so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.